Welcome to Durango, Colorado, home to Fort Lewis College. The campus lies here in this picture perfect mountain town, creating the ultimate crossroad between education and adventure. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and for the next half hour, you're gonna get the inside story of what makes this college so special. And best of all, you're gonna learn about it from real students going to school right here, right now. Welcome to Fort Lewis College. This is the College Tour. Okay, first, we're gonna meet up with Ayana Calton. She is a junior originally from Albuquerque, New Mexico. She is majoring in psychology with a double minor in criminology and pre-law. Very, very impressive. And she's gonna share with us what campus life is all about here at Fort Lewis. Take it away, Ayana. So when it comes to campus life at the Fort, there are a number of ways to get involved. Let's be honest, that's a big part of the college experience, the community. And that's exactly why our campus is buzzing with events and activities for the students. Usually when something big is taking place on campus, it's best to be in what I call the Holy Triad. The Holy Triad consists of the clock tower, the library, and the student union, and are commonly places where students can find A, an ideal study spot, B, a tabling event of some sort, or C, a place to hang out and meet someone new. Over time at Fort Lewis, these places became legendary to me, holy in a sense, serving as a space to meet some of the most wonderful people in my life today. And these views are just a few of the beautiful places available students on campus, functionally serving as a hotspot for new hangs or the place for the perfect picture. Personally speaking, my experience at the fort has been full of perfect and not so perfect moments. If you ask me, understanding life as a young adult can be all too challenging, which is why choosing the right college can quite literally mean everything. Fort Lewis meant for me choosing an unknown path, a new path when it came to forging diversity, equity, and inclusion. Fast forward three years and self-work, growth, and actualization to have taken place right here on this very campus. And thanks to Campus Life, I am grateful for the opportunities presented to me. I was able to genuinely cultivate a network that of which I am so very proud of. My role as a part of student government has allowed me to represent the student body in ways I never knew possible. My greatest role as Black Student Union President has presented me with a platform to speak on issues around colonization, oppression, addressing discussion and dialogue unknown to the narrative. By now, I'm sure that this is where I'm meant to live and the truth I'm meant to be a part of. If you ask me, what makes this place so unique is people like you, with a story to tell and a top tier liberal arts education awaiting. I hope I didn't tell you all our secrets, and if anything that I said stuck with you for whatever reason, well, I hope to see you soon. I'm off to one of the beautiful views I was talking about earlier. See you around. Back to you, Alex. Ayana, that was so special. Thank you for speaking from the heart. That was really cool. This campus is incredible, and I've been loving the vibe ever since I got here. Great job, thank you for that. Take care, Ayana. All right, everyone, now we're heading to meet Nate DeKramer. He's a senior here at Fort Lewis College, an outdoor adventurer in every sense of the word, and he's gonna talk to us about outdoor recreation here at Fort Lewis. Nate, how you doing? Take it away. How's it going, everyone? One of my favorite parts about the fort is the fact that I have all this great access to outdoor recreation out here. I'm a raft guide during the summertime, rafting down the Colorado River in the desert. During the wintertime, when I'm not in school, I'll dedicate my time to backcountry snowboarding. During the spring, I go and do ski mountaineering, which is riding technical lines down the big high peaks out here in the San Juans. During the fall, I explore the infinite canyons of the desert. What's really cool about Durango is that the San Juans are right there in our backyard, and the desert's only about two and a half hours away. So that means that you've got world-class skiing, climbing, mountaineering, hiking, backpacking. It's awesome. Durango is home to the Animus River. It flows right through the heart of downtown Durango, and it's an awesome spot for whitewater kayaking and rafting out here. Durango is also home to the end of the Colorado Trail. We got a ton of trails out here, hundreds of miles, weaving in and around town, 
that is great for trail running, mountain biking, hiking, you name it. If you like national parks, then you will have a ton of options out here. We got places like Grand Staircase, Escalante, Chaco Canyon, Canyons of the Ancients, Arches, Canyonlands, and Mesa Verde is only about an hour away. Not to mention all the national forests, as well as all the designated wilderness areas that you can explore and camp in all by yourself. Whether you've been exploring the outdoors for your entire life or for your, if you're just getting into it, Outdoor Pursuits here at FLC is an awesome resource. It's located right here on campus at the Student Life Center, and they provide free gear rentals to all the students. You can rent anything from a mountain bike to split boards to hiking and backpacking gear, anything you need to be successful out there in the wilderness. Not only do they provide free gear, they also provide guided trips and training tutorials so that you can hone your skills before you go out there on your own. These trips are provided by student outdoor leaders and guiding professionals themselves in the field and range anywhere between backpacking trips over the weekend here in our backyard or mountaineering trips all the way around the world. I love going to college here because this place has really allowed me to explore all of these new recreational activities and truly find all of these cool outdoor experiences. And it has really shaped who I am today. Back to you. Nate, next time I'm back here, you have to take me on one of those awesome adventures you do all the time. That was awesome. Great job. Next is Ali G. She is from Low Mountain, Arizona, located on the Navajo Nation. She's a senior public health major, the Hajoni ambassador, and a remarkable woman who's gonna to talk to us about diversity here at Fort Lewis College, which as you will see, is very special here on campus. Ali, it's all yours. Hi everyone, as Alex stated, my name is Ali. I'm now going to introduce myself in my Navajo language. What I just said in my Diné language are my four clans that I use to identify myself as a Navajo woman. I personally chose to attend Fort Lewis because of their commitment to serving students and the diversity within this community. And it's proven to be the best decision I've ever made. Fort Lewis is a unique place where diversity is central to who we are. Over 50% of our campus are students of color, representing nearly all 50 states, 15 countries, and 170 Native American tribes and Alaskan villages. Fort Lewis is a Native American-serving non-tribal institution that offers qualified students a tuition waiver if they come from federally recognized tribes. The tuition waiver was established in 1934 to provide Native American students an opportunity at affordable higher education. The old Fort Lewis property in Hesperus, Colorado was home to a military base and Indian boarding school in the 1800s. Fort Lewis College is currently taking steps to address its history, and the school has been working to understand and represent the diversity of the student body. One of the ways that this is done is by the resource centers that we have available to us. On campus, we have resources like the Native American Center, Al Centro de Muchos Quelores, the Black Student Resource Center, and the Gender and Sexuality Resource Center. These centers play a huge role in everyday student life. From free tutoring to events on campus, there is a place for everyone. The opportunity to meet new people from a variety of backgrounds, interests, and concentrations of study are always available here at FLC. That is something that I truly love about this campus. Together, as Skyhawks, we work hard to create an inclusive community. By actively seeking to understand the diverse backgrounds of our community, we become agents of change to create a more equitable world. And I love it. Thanks, everyone. That was super fun to share what diversity means here at Fort Lewis. And back to you, Alex. Allie, thank you. Thank you for being so open and honest about diversity here at Fort Lewis. The world needs more people like you. Great job. Okay, everyone, next, we're gonna go meet Sadie Went. She's a senior and transfer student, and she is incredible. And we couldn't be more excited to have her talk about academics here at Fort Lewis. Hey, Sadie, you're on, take it away. Hello everyone, I am so excited to be here to talk to you all about academics here at Fort Lewis that I have found incredibly rewarding and fulfilling. 
There are many opportunities within the majors and programs to find your home. There are over 50 majors to choose from, as well as minors, concentrations, and certificates that you can combine to make your own. Fort Lewis offers programs in arts and humanities, science, business, and education. For example, I'm a theater performance major here, but I have been involved in the music department, and I've recently taken an interest in the education classes and programs we have here on campus. The faculty at Fort Lewis have been incredibly welcoming and personable, and I have been able to connect and make relationships with professors. Honestly, that's something I didn't have at my last college and something I really appreciate about Fort Lewis. The best part is the small class sizes. You really get to know your professors and your classmates. Fort Lewis's curriculum is very engaging, and I love that we as students get to experience our areas of study hands-on. We're not just sitting in a lecture listening, we're going out and doing. Depending on your major, that could be teaching in a local elementary school or doing your own research in a lab. For me, it's performing on a stage. Overall, Fort Lewis has been one of the best academic decisions that I've made in my life to help prepare me and support me for my future, especially the hands-on learning experience. I hope you've learned a little bit about the academics here at Fort Lewis. I've had so much fun. Back to you, Alex. Sadie, thank you, great job. That was awesome to learn more about the academics through your personal perspective and experiences. That was great, thanks again. Bye, Sadie. Next, we're heading over to meet Ethan Volchek, a six foot four, 295 pound offensive lineman and captain of the football team, who's gonna tell us what Fort Lewis Athletics is all about. Ethan, you're on. What's up, everyone? I'm here to tell you all about Fort Lewis Athletics and what we're all about here. Now, what I'm about to say, a lot of other athletes have said before, but here it is a fact. Every single athlete here that plays at Fort Lewis College knows that there's something special going on here. From the beautiful scenery at practice, to the preparation before game day, to every single person in those stands watching us compete day in and day out. And I can guarantee you there is nothing better than when it's crunch time and it's all on the line. Fourth and one on the goal, tied match in volleyball in the last set, and those cyclists and runners going through the end, there is no better feeling than putting the team on our back and coming in clutch. For those of you that are curious about all the little details, Fort Lewis College is a Division II school in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, or the RMAC for short. We play teams all over the Midwest, Adams State University, Chadron State, Colorado School of Mines, and New Mexico Highlands, just to name a few. The only team that operates a little bit outside the RMAC is our cycling team. They compete in the USA Division I program, and they have a ton of championships to boot because we're that good. Now, in the day to day, I'm going to be real with you. It gets pretty tough being a student athlete here. The way it was put to me was growing up, you now have two jobs. You are a full-time student and a full-time athlete, and you got to find a way to make it work. And they weren't kidding about that either. So a lot of these people, come in thinking they're gonna be great and amazing, and then they get hit by a truck the first time that they go through with it. But if you're like me, it's a blessing in disguise. A lot of us figure out who we are as a person, what we wanna do, and what we can figure out in the classroom as well. Now, when I first came home from my first semester of being a football player, my folks didn't even recognize me. When I left, I'd struggle with my weight, my time management, and I could barely communicate in a severe fashion to anybody. But then when I came back, I figured it all out. I dropped 20 pounds, I was able to manage my time properly, and I was able to say what I really thought to my parents. It was kind of funny, because they looked at me and they just went, where is Ethan, and what did you do with him? I know what some of you guys are thinking. This is great and all, but I'm not a student athlete. Well, this next little bit is just for you. There are tons of things that you can do to help support your student athletes, such as going to the games, getting fired up for those rallies. Every single athlete loves having you. We all want you to be there every single time we compete. And I'm gonna be honest, in the stands, it is an absolute blast. Every chance I get, I go to a basketball game, a volleyball game, or another type of athletic event, and it is no doubt some of the most fun I've had in college. There's always gonna be something to do from an athletic standpoint, so you can always support your Skyhawks. And that's Fort Lewis Athletics in a nutshell. Go Skyhawks, talons up. Back to you, Alex.
Ethan, your energy and excitement for athletics at the fort here is contagious. Great job. I want to go back to college and play sports right here. That was awesome. Thanks again. Next, we're heading to meet Jesse Duran, a junior studying computer engineering. The hands-on experience he's doing here at the college is remarkable. He's gonna take a few minutes to tell us about experiential education here at the fort. Jesse, you're on. Hey Alex, hey everyone. So computer engineering is a new major here at Fort Lewis, but it already has an incredible reputation. I've been doing research at the college for almost a year, and in that time, I've had wonderful research opportunities presented to me. I work closely with the biology and physics and engineering departments. The undergraduate research opportunities are beyond belief, and this is because the professors work tirelessly to bring these opportunities to campus. The amount of cross-disciplinary training and hands-on work that I've been able to do extends from microbiology, microfluidics, lasers and optics, machining parts, and printed circuit board design. The research is exciting, but that doesn't mean that regular courses are boring. It's quite the opposite. In my geology class, we went north of Durango to look at fossilized specimens in limestone, stratification of rock, and natural occurring hot springs. In my physics course, we built an electric motor from nothing but wood, nails, and wire. In chemistry class, we synthesized ibuprofen. With all of these classes, I got the opportunity to connect my learning to the real world. The classes here at the fort are more than just theory, they're application. If these classes sound a little academically challenging, you're absolutely right. But luckily, the tutoring services on campus are phenomenal. As a CE major, I have to take a lot of math. There's a peer education center that has tutors at the ready to help you with any problems that you may have in math, writing, languages, and more. The Native American Center also has dedicated tutors for a wide variety of classes. Best of all, all these services are free. The feeling at Fort Lewis is that everyone wants you to succeed. If you put in the time and the effort, the opportunities will present themselves and you'll reach new horizons. Alex, back to you. Jesse, wow. What you're getting to do at this college is absolutely fascinating. There's no better way to prepare for the real world than working on real work. That's incredible, thanks for sharing, great job. Next, we're heading to meet Tyler Gleason. Tyler is a junior theater education major here at Fort Lewis College and is gonna give you an overview of this college's location here in Durango, Colorado, which let me tell you is absolutely amazing. It's an incredible mountain town. You're gonna to wanna to watch this. Tyler, you're on, take it away. Hello everyone, bien de vidos. Welcome to Durango, Colorado. We are located in the southwest part of Colorado, also known as the Four Corners. The Four Corners are where New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, and Colorado State Corners meet. We have a lot to offer here in Durango. We have breathtaking views, restaurants, coffee shops, stores, food trucks, and a diverse community that welcomes and accepts us college students and encourages us every single day. One of the most well-known attractions in our town is the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. This train brings so many tourists from all over the country to our small little town. The train takes passengers from our town to the neighboring city of Silverton. Durango is a quaint mountain town that was established in 1880 and has evolved since then from being a gold and silver mining town into now what is known as a college town. From here in the Animus River Valley to the 14,000 foot San Juan Peaks, we have direct access to Colorado's largest wilderness area. That's why I like to call Durango a bucket list mountain town. Durango has year round festivals because we like to get outside and have fun. This includes a taste of Durango, a foodie's dream. Durango Play Fest, the Celtic Festival, and Durango Bluegrass Meltdown and Snowdown. Snowdown is our wild and entertaining festival where everyone in the town gets dressed up and competes in crazy competitions. If you like that small mountain town film, I don't know a better place for you. Speaking from experience, when your college is located in Durango, Colorado, all your friends and family will want to come visit you. It's a very special place. All right, that's enough for me. Back to you, Alex. Tyler, great job. 
Thank you for that. You're 100% right. Durango is truly a special place. Thanks again. Cheers, Tyler. Next, we're heading to meet the one and only Carson Ingram. He is the student body president here at Port Lewis and is going to take a few minutes to tell you about the housing and dining options here on campus. Mr. President, the floor is all yours. Thanks, Alex. This president has a nice ring to it. Wish more people would call me that. Now let's talk about student housing first. We have a lot of great options to choose from. If you want a traditional college experience, you can choose Camp, Crofton, or Escalante. You'll have one roommate, a bathroom at the end of the hall, and it's a great place to meet a lot of new friends. But if you like your personal space, we have a lot of suite style options on campus just for you. Bader Snyder, Cooper, West, and right here at Animus Hall. Each of these share a bathroom with four different people, and they come in single bedroom styles and double bedroom styles. Big shout out to all my friends over in Bader V. That's where I stayed when I lived on campus. And no matter where you choose, all of the options are amazing. And the staff there are there to help. They generally care about their job and they want to see you succeed, whether you lock yourself out of your room or you just need someone to talk to. Of course, going to college isn't all just about school. A lot of great events are planned on campus and a lot of them happen right inside of the residence halls. Pizza parties, tie-dye mixers, open mic nights, these events help me make new friends, adjust to college, and really enjoy my first year experience. And of course, while living on campus, we all have to eat. The San Juan Dining Hall and the Rocket Grill are great places to go if you want to get a quick bite or sit with your friends and talk while you have a great meal. The San Juan Dining Hall has multiple options every meal, so there's always something for everyone to eat. And if you have any dietary restrictions, don't worry about it. The Dining Hall will work with you to make sure that you can leave with a full stomach and a smile on your face. And if you're wanting something quick and easy in between classes, we have three great coffee shops to choose from. Animus Perks, Burnt Hall, and Jones Hall. They're great places to stop if you want to get a coffee and a bagel, and it gets you back to class in no time. That's housing and dining here at Fort Lewis College. Alex, back to you. Mr. President, that was fantastic. Thank you for giving your personal tour into the housing and dining available here at the Fort. Thanks again, Carson. Next, we're meeting up with Autumn DeHart. She is an adventure education major and also double minoring in entrepreneurship and marketing. And she's gonna take a moment to talk about what health and wellness means here at Fort Lewis. Autumn, you're up, take it away. Everyone, one of my favorite things here at The Fort is how much they encourage a healthy lifestyle. From on-campus trails to free access to a gym, it has been absolutely amazing and helped me continue my active lifestyle. I'm currently training to be in Spartan races right now and eventually in the Ironman. And I just overall love exercising and being outdoors. The Fort has so many outdoor exercise options to offer. My personal favorite one are the Sky Steps. I like to run this at least once a week just to get acclimated and prepare for future expeditions I have planned here. Also, the trail system on campus is amazing. I love to run the rim trail or just take my dogs out and explore an adventure. When I'm not working out outside, I like to go to the Student Life Center. This is our on-campus gym. I love going to the group classes. My personal favorite is the Vinyasa Flow Yoga. I also like going to the CrossFit training though, just to mix up my workout routine. And if you don't like group classes, the SLC has so much more to offer, just like the elevated track system or the basketball courts, and so, so, so much more. On top of that, there is a professionally staffed health center and counseling center here at the Fort. At FLC, we believe in integrated health, which basically means looking at a person as a whole. So the healthcare providers will collaborate their knowledge on mental health and physical health when treating a student. The Health Center sees students for walk-ins or appointments for all minor illnesses, injuries, and consultations, and can refer students to other doctors or hospitals in town for more serious situations. At the Counseling Center, your student fees cover four one-hour one-on-one sessions, group sessions, or other options. Everyone has things they need to talk about, and for me personally, it really helped to have someone to talk to. One more great resource on campus is WellPAC, our Wellness Peer Advisory Council. They're a group of students who are trained to do peer education and also public health education. One example of this is when the FLC became a non-smoking campus, they helped educate and support students. 
The thing I love about The Four is how they support all aspects of a healthy lifestyle, not just fitness. All right, back to you, Alex. Autumn, thanks for taking the time to go into all of that. Health is one of the most important things we have as individuals. And it is great to see how Fort Lewis College makes it such a priority here on campus. Well done, thanks again. Cheers, Autumn. Now, the main objective of college is to help students prepare for the real world. And Fort Lewis does an incredible job of doing just that. Here's Tierney Andreas, a senior psychology and sociology double major with a minor in teaching English as a second language. And she's here to talk about career preparation. Tierney, you're on. Thanks, Alex. Manahu i nanianei Tierney Andreas, nu manu paiahupua nu ki madu. Hi everyone, my name is Tierney Andreas and I am Bishop Paiute from Bishop, California, from where the water flows. Here at Fort Lewis College, we hope that the knowledge we give you as a Skyhawk will carry you into your future career after leaving the nest. FLC has a great career services office that helps our students and alumni find the skills they need to succeed in their future careers. Career services provides assistance in resume and cover letter creation, as well as career finding, such as choosing a major or finding what graduate school will suit you best in the future. Not only that, but Career Services provides us students and alumni with interview tips, as well as job and internship searches that are catered specifically to you. Nearly all of the professors I have had have incorporated in one way or another real world examples, as well as hands-on learning experiences that I can use in my future career. I was even able to take a psychology class working with kids and doing prevention programming. This allowed me to work with the kids in their own space where they were comfortable while I was also learning how to do successful youth prevention programming. Fort Lewis College offers internships all over campus as well as within the Durango community. FLC has prepared me for a career in so many different ways and I am so, so thankful and grateful to such an amazing institution as well as such a supportive Skyhawk family. Everywhere I go, FLC staff and faculty stress the importance of creating a community to support you through your college and career journey. And I truly hope that you decide to join our nest. Back to you, Alex. Tierney, great job. There is nothing more important than being ready to succeed in the outside world. And it's great to see how Fort Lewis has helped you on your path forward in life. Thanks for sharing. Bye, Tierney. Okay, everyone, was that a lot of fun or what? I want to personally thank the amazing students here for sharing their personal stories so you can learn more about what Fort Lewis College is all about. I certainly can't say enough about this college and its amazing location here in Durango. This has been awesome. Now, it's up to all of you to go learn more about what Fort Lewis College is all about. And hopefully soon, we'll see you on campus. Cheers, everyone.